please subscribe math.com for any query comment or email hello everyone in our today's lecture we will see what is the circumference of a circle and its relation with the radius and diameter of the circle how it is related with the radius and diameter mathematically as well as uh, we will uh, see uh, by means of an example so first of all we will see what is the circumference of a circle it is defined as the distance around a circle we can also say that it is the length of a circle if it were opened up or if we unwrap the circle and calculate its length then you can also say that the circumference is the length of a of an unwrapped or an opened up circle unwrapped circle is also called the circumference of the circle another definition is circumference is also referred as perimeter which is the length around any closed figure for example in case of square and rect square rectangle parallelogram we calculate the perimeter while in circle we calculate the circumference so perimeter which is the length around any closed figure so it was all about that how you can define the circumference so let's see diagrammatically that um, what is the circumference and how you can uh, label it uh, on a circle and how you will come to know that what is actually the circumference let's draw a circle this is a circle okay and uh, uh, we can label its different parts as this is the center of the circle we can label it as the center of circle from this point all the points on the circle are equidistant from each other so that they can form a circle let's say that this point on circle we can say this point on circle and the multiple points on circle are equidistant in the whole circle so they can together make a circle so center of the circle represents a point from where all the points are equidistant and they all together make a circle then the uh, then the next part of the circle is the radius this is the radius of the circle this is called the diameter of the circle as as it is a line segment that must pass through the center of the circle and it must touches the two ends of the circle so when a line passes through center and it touches or it whose end points lie on the uh, on the uh, lie on the uh, edge of the circle then we call it a diameter so, so the green line represents a diameter the blue line represents a radius and the red point is called the center of the circle okay now one thing left that is the circumference of which we are talking about let's draw the circumference so that you can easily understand what is the circumference actually i'll draw the circumference in a dotted line so that you can easily understand what is the circumference circumference is the distance around a circle and as we are going around the circle we are saying this is the circumference so this green dotted line actually represents the circumference of the circle to which if we unfold and calculate its length give us the length of the circle so we can say length or the circumference of the circle radius diameter uh, and center are the parts of the circle of the circle and the circumference is basically the distance around the circle or it's the perimeter of the perimeter or the or the length of the circle let's see what is the relationship between the circumference radius and diameter this is a very important concept so you can easily calculate the problems involving the circumference radius or diameter and uh, you have to calculate either circumference or radius or diameter uh, let's find out the relation between the circumference radius and diameter for that you need to have the three circle these are the three circles okay we'll draw its diameter this is the diameter of the circle that passes through the center and touches the two sides of the circle it's d1 it's d2 and it's d3 this is the diameter of the circle okay so these are the three circles we have having the diameter and the circle the circumference values given if we calculate the ratio of c to d ratio of c means circumference so 
circumference if we calculate their ratio circumference to diameter what we will get let's check it out for c1 over d1 we will write 3.14 over 1 and we will get 3.14 okay for c2 over d2 we will write 12.57 over 4 and we will get 3.14 approximately then for c3 over d3 19.48 over 6.2 we will get approximately equal to 3.14 so what you have seen you have seen that whether there is any value of, of circumference and diameter we are changing the values of circumference and diameter. These are basically the calculated values of circumference and diameter that we have taken. And the answer is always 3.14. That is a constant. So, the this 3.14 is replaced by, by the value of pi. As the value of pi is 3.14. So, we can say that we, uh, we can write C over D is equals to pi. Can we evaluate this expression from this example? Yes, because whenever we have taken the uh, ratio of circumference and diameter, we have, we have got the value of 3.14. So, this is how we can say that the ratio of circumference and diameter is equals to pi. Okay. So, this is the one expression that is showing the relationship of circumference and diameter. Now, let's see how you can find the uh, relation between circumference and radius by using this expression. Okay, We have got the expression of C over D is equals to pi. This is very important expression and we have to use it in, uh, in our ne uh, next few examples. As it is the rule of maths, if we multiply one thing on one side, then we have to multiply it on another side as well. C over D into D is equals to pi into D. Okay, It will cancel out. What we will have? C is equals to pi d. This is the one expression we have showing the relationship between the circumference and diameter. As we know that diameter is actually the two uh, is two times of the radius. Okay, so we can substitute the if we label the equations as this and this. So we can substitute the value of d in this equation. Let's see how we can do it as c is equals to pi 2r. Instead of d, we have written 2r. We have repla replaced the d by 2r. So, what we will get is c is equals to 2 pi r. So, this is the required expression. This is required or another expression we have that shows the relationship between the radius and circumference. So, equation number 1 and equation number 3 are the very important equations in order to solve the questions including the circumference, radius and diameters whenever you are given with any one, value of any one of, the, one of them and you have to find the others. So, this was all about how you can find the relationship with the circumference, radius and diameter, what is the circumference and how you can calculate uh, and how you can um, uh, drive it from radius and diameter. Thank you. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe our channel math.com for more updates. Thank you.